Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Well, Memorial Day has come and gone, and a lot of people probably went a little crazy with all the amounts of food that they prepared. No worries. Chef Cam is here. He's going to show us what we can do with all of those leftovers. Chef, what are we making today? Child, today I got a spicy barbecue Ooh. chicken pizza. No, so we, you don't do You know you? folks just do chicken. They just do so much. Ooh. And we got a little bit left over, so we got yes. a spicy barbecue chicken pizza we're going to work up for you. Let's get it started. You want to get, get with it? I want to get with it, not quit it. So what we want to do is we have a veggie crust since you ladies are doing fitness week, we don't want to, you know, yeah, add you up on the carbs and, you know, you slow you down a little bit. You see how they had me on the spinner. I, I, I was spinning You were spinning, then you stopped spinning, then you spent a little bit more. Child, let me tell you something. <laughs> I, I was a spinning top by a the time I got top. done. going to take the glasses off. So what we want to do is baste our crust with just a little bit of melted butter right okay. there, if you want to grab that for I me. I sure do. With our brush, what this is going to do is make sure that after we add the toppings to our, um, our pizza, that our, we don't lose our crust and it mm -hmm. still has a little bit of, you know, crispiness. That's kind of what we like one day, and I'm going to okay. come behind you. Okay. And then what we have is some leftover barbecue sauce because what we want to do is use everything that we have left over from so Memorial nothing day. goes away. It's from Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. And what I like to do is make my own barbecue sauce. So I take a little Ooh. bit of store bought, I'll add some lemon, Ooh. add a little bit of vinegar, some mm -hmm. brown sugar, and you know, just add get a little spices to it to get it in there. Now, like and then it. right after nice that, yeah, that's nice and painted. What I'm going to do is drizzle you just a little bit of this barbecue sauce like that. Okay. And, and then what you can do is go on and spread it. So we so can do that together. Sure, and you don't want to be stingy with we, it. We, you you know, we sure can't be stingy really down that. to the circle, okay? No, there we go. So, Look and you want to do it from the center out mm -hmm. so that you can make sure that you don't have too much drippage around the edge. So you can go a little bit light on the corners, okay. but keep it much heavier on the inside. I feel like I'm a, uh, I think I'm Andy Warhol. Right <laughs> now, you're, you're looking like that squat, looking like, how, you know, that? looking like Picasso. How about so that? I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and just start to, um, to add our next layer of topping. So right here is our cheese. Okay. Most people like to use a mozzarella, guys. I like to use a smoked gouda. Oh, I like because the smoked gouda. gouda when we're not using a lot of pork Give me a on, bit our, on my hand just right a little now. bit. What I you gonna do with it in your hand, well, Miss you know Quad? Don't go in my mouth. Oh, right in the mouth, just like that. Okay. Go like that. That's it's real good, fine, ain't it? I'm telling you. And this is a I farm to, to table out. brand that is made fresh here, actually in Atlanta, That's Georgia. So good. And how is that? So we want to get so a thin good. layer because we're going to layer the top of it, but we don't want too much cheese on there. I like it nice so and So right there, nice and real cheese. I want you to take some of this barbecue chicken. And you grilled the chicken already. I grilled already the chicken it's already. Leftovers. It's leftovers. And okay, we just don't put it. Let me just taste oh. bad. <laughs> 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 I, I just had to make sure everything was all oh, good. Make, making that. sure the taste mm -hmm. was right for the people. And it's really good. It's a really nice flavor. Can't so we're going to thank on this chicken. Thank you. We're just going to pour that mm -hmm. right off the bone. I wish I had a little bit more, but we know where that went. Well, you ain't got to shame me on this. I ain't got to shame you on the TV now. <laughs> but Cam, the people tell me that you're going to be on Fox on MasterChef. Oh, did the people tell the you people, that? Let it, me tell you oh, something. the streets talking. They talking and walking. <laughs> so tell us, how did that come about? And, uh, you know, sometimes, I mean, Gordon Ramsay can be really, really tough. Yeah. How is his personality? Child, In let person. me tell you. People think that, you know, the kid is real soft and nice and, you know, free-spirited. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, me and Gordon, we are one and the same. Oh, did you yeah. go in on the plane? Oh, we, I on didn't go people? in on the people. We just saw each other very eye to eye. Oh. It, was, it, was, it was real cute, oh. y'all. Real, real, real so cute. So you told him don't run up? I told him don't run up if you don't want to get done don't up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. So listen, um, yes, so my this love. is your second time? My second time, yes. I truly believe that, you know, life is not about first chances or second chances. It's about how many chances you can take. Mm -hmm. So we don't put a number on it. We just keep going and we How keep growing. How did it growing. come about, though? Was it an audition? It, it was an audition, but I was basically, you know, kind of called back, and it was just like, hey, we didn't think that what happened last year was able to showcase your talent. Mm. Do you want to come back? Because you deserve to be broadcasted on this show. Awesome. So you know what I did? Well, what I went on back. You went <laughs> on back. Now tell us a little bit, what was your, what was the, the major challenge with you being on MasterChef? The major Was it the people? Mm. Was it the recipes? Was it the challenges? What was it? I think the major challenge for me was just accepting the fact like that, wow, I'm worthy enough to be here. Yes, worthy. And it's just like, you know, I'm not necessarily just getting recognition from my family or mm -hmm. from my friends, but I'm getting recognition worldwide. Yeah. And, you know, that puts you on a completely different uh, playing field. Yes, it Wasn't does. Wasn't worried about the recipes because the kid can cook down. To, to the the floor. people know that the kids can I'm cook you right on down. So, right into this right pizza now. right now, I have added some of our other toppings. Right I hope there. they have that recipe on the screen. I added some red onions, okay. some, uh, some grilled red peppers, and mm. now what I'm doing is adding some. Tomatoes. Some sliced tomatoes okay, on top, then. and the last thing that we're going to want to do. Some corn on that, 
Okay. He has some fresh corn right off, right off the cob. Oh, I like that. Right off the cob. So what this is going to do is help counteract the spiciness that is inside of the barbecue sauce and the is red that, pepper that, that we have on the there. pizza. It's very sweet corn. So mm -hmm. you know, we always want to talk about balance and counter counterbalance. So that's now, exactly what we have. And then you got to hit me with a little bit of more of that Gouda cheese. You want too. just a little bit more? You want to do that right quick? Yeah, I huh? would love to. If you want to grate that right on top right there, go on and hit it for the kids. Okay, we and got And then you, what I'm going to do right here as well is as you're hitting it with that Gouda cheese, mm -hmm. I'm just going to hit it with some crushed red pepper right over the top. And this is good for, for people who have children. Yeah, it's I think really it's a easy. Great bonding yeah, moment, for sure. Actually. It's so much fun. And then we also want to hit it with just a little bit of black pepper as well. That's okay. going to add just a little bit to that smokiness right. of that. Now we're going to pop that in sauce. the oven. We're going to pop this in the oven for exactly 15 minutes. Okay, on what temperature? On 350 degrees. Okay, well let's okay. pop it in the so oven. So let me pop that in the oven mm -hmm. and show you guys a little bit of this TV magic. Okay, you know, how about it? Pop one in mm -hmm. just like that and pull. One and then we're gonna pull one right out just All like, right that. Then. With the I real, like that with the shabangi wangi wangi. Ooh, Ooh that now look at that. Look at you, so when Cam. you see the pizza, the cut gold. It out for yeah, my let, I'm, I'm gonna cut it on up for the for the sisters right quick. Yeah. It's a healthy pizza. It's a really healthy pizza. I, look at that. I want them to have some of this pizza, but then we also have a cocktail here. Yeah. It's a mocktail. And it's, it's, it's actually yeah, it's, it's a mocktail. There's no um alcohol in uh -huh. it, yes. but what we do have is some aged, you know, I had mm. to sneak it in for the, for the ladies real quick. Mm. We have some aged um, grape juice. Oh, and wow. what it is, is it's right be in between the stage of wine okay. and the stage of juice. Sis, can I pass you a piece? Yeah, you pass can. it right on I, down I'm, just I'm like that. that. So what we have it. in there, Miss Selena. Sis, can I pass mm -hmm. you a piece? Oh, okay. y'all not even okay. worried, about, worried about me over yonder mm -hmm. no more, yeah, you know. We're going over yonder. So go down and it's Trevin, can I pass you a pizza pizza? Yes, of course. My hands are sure can. Okay. And then I have I some promise. spritzes for you guys as well. Mm. So what we have in here is sparkling water, mm -hmm. aged grape juice, mm -hmm. lime, mm. lemon, mm. and kiwi. And oh. that's your mocktail. Oh, yeah. We want to thank you so much thank for you joining guys us so much. today. We do appreciate you coming down Try to the circle. As right you are here. always mm. welcome. If you want to learn more about Cam's amazing recipes, please go to his mm. Instagram at Cooking with Cam.